Okay, we're now on to question 14 of the 2013 KCPE maths paper. Uh, this question asks um, us to do some uh, calculations with money. So the question is, Becca harvested six bags of beans, eight bags of maize. He told he sold sorry he sold each bag of beans at four thousand eight hundred shillings and each bag of maize at one thousand five hundred shillings. How much money was left uh, after paying twenty four thousand five hundred for school fees? Okay, so um, we need to do this is two part question. We need to do first an addition. Um, to find out how much he earned through selling the beans and the maize and then we need to do a subtraction of how much he paid in school fees so let's do the um addition part first so uh to find out the total um that he uh got from selling the beans that would be six times the price of each bag of beans so the number of bags of beans he sold times by the, the price of each bag of beans and to find out the totals that he got from selling the maize, that's the number of bags of maize he sold, times by the price of each bag of maize. So let's do that. So we have 6 times by 4,800 plus 8 times by 1,500. So this is some uh, uh, multiplication we have, we have to do to... Um, multiplications here this one and this one so let's start off by doing the top one 4800 times by 6 0 here 0 here uh, 48 here so there's an 8 we carry a 4 uh, 24 here we add a 4 to that so we get 2 8 so this is the total um, uh, Price that he sold, that he, sorry, the total money that he got from selling the beans here. And then let's do the same for the maize. So 1,500 times by 8, 0 here, 0 here. You get 40, you carry 4, 8 plus this, we get 12. And then we need to add together these two here, the 28,800 and the 12,000. So 28,800 add the 12,000, you get 0, 0, 8, 10, we carry the 1, we get 40,800 is a total profit that he has. Then we need to subtract, um, uh, we need to subtract from that 40,800, we need to subtract 24,500. Um, straight away from looking at the options here, we know for sure that the answer cannot be uh, C because that's more than the profit that he got and it definitely can't be D because that's also much more than the profit that he got. So we have two remaining, A and B. A is far too small so the answer has to be um, B. The answer to the question is B, 16,300. And we can prove it to ourselves by doing this subtraction which I'm going to do over here. 24,500, you get 16,300 King Shillings.